Hi everybody, this is Sam of BIMSU International. In, In this video, you will see the capability of our Enterprise Asset and Maintenance Management System, BIM. If you are in construction industry, BIM helps you on the asset and material management and managing the predictive, preventive, and periodic maintenance operations. With the aid of BIM, you can manage the activities and maintenance to your asset like the trucks, dozers, and heavy duty cranes, and your spare parts like the bumpers, screws, brake drums, transmission gears, and so on. These are the operations that you can run in your construction company. In this example, you will watch a demonstration of a company named Milestone Construction Group with 30 trucks, 6 heavy duty cranes, and 9 doses, and so on, in 3 different locations, which are New York, Chicago, and Las Vegas. Let's get started. You can use BIM on your handheld device, for instance, adding and checking your asset status information. Creating work requests and order or managing the material transaction. Also, you can use BIM on the web browser. You can see on your screen is the dashboard function after you log into BIM. Every user can have their own design dashboard since all the widgets are sizable, movable, and modifiable. Besides, the real-time data will interact with the command you make on other widgets. It provides you a quick way to keep tracking on the KPI and performance on your top left. This is the main menu of your available modules. We can now go to the asset module. In the asset module, you can have the map function which shows you a real Google map. You can zoom in and out on the map. Also. You can pinpoint the location of your facilities on the map. With integrate with the GPS equipped on your moving assets, you can keep tracking the real-time location of them. You can click the graphical asset tree under the asset module. By uploading the blueprint of your facilities, you can pinpoint the location of your fixed assets. For instance, the construction elevator. You can move your cursor on your asset and you can have a quick view of their name status, and department of this particular asset. Besides, when the color of this asset is in green color, it means they are in a good condition. Once they turn into red, it means it is under maintenance. You can also click on the asset and have a quick asset to carry out a maintenance order or view the history of this asset. What I am showing you now is the asset tree. You can see the structure of your company here in an hierarchy form. You will have a better idea that how the asset is arranged in different locations. You can also find the asset line in this asset tree, saying you want to put the truck and heavy duty crane together to perform a task. You can define the main asset and the dependent asset, or the assignment or maintenance you make on the main asset. It will go to the sub asset as well. Let us go to the asset list now. In this list, it records all the information of your asset. You can simply click the Add button to create a new asset in the system. Right now, you can enter a unique asset code, asset name, status, department, location, brand, model, and buying price. Furthermore, you can define the material that will be used by this new asset and the responsible maintenance team. Under the legitimate proceeding, you can enter insurance and inspection information here. Any handbooks, instructions, or certifications can be attached under the document fields. You can also upload the picture of this asset here too. After you filled all the information, you can save it and the new asset and its information will be saved in BIM. As BIM is providing over 10,000 ready-made reports, you can generate the report, for example, the asset status report, anytime you need it. 
After clicking the prepare button, you will see a report with a pie chart and table showing you what status your assets are in currently. Besides generate the report by the time you need it, you can make Beam send the report to you automatically with clicking the schedule button. You can configure the time and time period that Beam sent the report to your inbox automatically. To the maintenance module, you can create a work request when you find something wrong with your equipment. It's mostly implemented by the operational level employee. Once they found there is a maintenance activity is needed for a particular machine, they can create a work request here with entering all the required fields. We can save it and create a new work request. When you go to the work order function under maintenance module, you will see the work request you just created is now in the work order list. As a responsible managerial personnel in your company, you can now assign the new work order to a responsible personnel. Besides, you can schedule it with the planned start date and end date. Similar to adding a new asset, you can have to use the material and document connect to this maintenance activity. If there is any third party services needed, for example, from the vendor, subcontractor, or supplier, you can enter the data under the service field. At last, we can have the cost at the cost category, and all the costs will be calculated automatically by BIM. After creating the work order, we can go to the work order calendar. You will see that the new work order is now on the calendar. You can also view the detail by right click on it. Instead of creating the work order every single time the problem comes out, you can schedule periodic maintenance in BIM. After going into the preventive maintenance definitions, we can create a new scheduling of your periodic maintenance. You can choose the target asset here and what is the time period to carry out the next maintenance activity. Let's say 90 days. Then we can save it and create a new work order. Then you will find this new periodic maintenance order will be shown in the work order calendar. Under the material module, you can record all the material that you have in your company. Similar to the asset module, you can enter the information like a unique identifying code, name, serial number, brand, model, documents, and picture. And under the warehouse parameter field, we can enter the maximum, minimum, and safety stock of your material. In addition, you can keep tracking the transaction of your materials, saying you have more material is incoming. You can record here with entering the information of the location, warehouse, material, quantity, and unit price. You come to the personnel module which you can record all the information regarding your employee. You can enter the data of your employee like the code, name, department, team, photo, and wage on this form. Besides, you can also put the address, education, and work experience here. There is a function named Employee Occupation Calendar under the Personnel Module 2. You can compare the schedule of different employees and have a better idea on their schedule and avoid any conflicts while you are assigning the tasks. It comes to the end of this demonstration. Here are some references that are using BIM in construction industry. You can find more and the use cases on our official website. Thank you for watching. You are more than welcome to contact us directly for a free demonstration session of BIM. This is Sam of BIMSER International.